Welcome everybody back to part 3 of Let's Play Pokemon Red. I have a fan here with you, and this Let's Play is brought to you by MunchyGames.ca. So in this part, we are going to continue on. By the way, off camera, I caught another Pokemon. I caught a Weedle. It's a bug and a poison type. Poison stain and string shot. And I could go into my Pokedex, which I will, and tell you what it's about. I also did a uh, trainer battle off camera. I fought a Weedle and also fought a Caterpie. Often found in forests, eating leaves. It has a sharp venomous dinner on its head. And a trainer fight. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Really? Bug catcher. They're gonna be seeing them a lot. Bug catcher wants to fight. He sends out Weedle. Level 7. Nice. Time to test out Bubble. And I was poisoned. Oh yeah, by the way, off camera, score to win for level 31. Uh, no, and I'm gonna probably have to heal my... Pokemon from Poison. And your defense lowers. And he faked it. And I grew to level 12! And defeated Pokemon Catcher. And I also have to add it out. Trying tips. Contact Professor of PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. What's this? Oh, we found an antidote. So let's continue on. Ah, Weedle. I've already got a Weedle, so I'm not gonna worry about him. Ah, another item. And I found a potion. Great. I used a potion, and I got a potion back. Trainer tips. No stealing of Pokemon from other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. And now we have another bottle. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? I guess I can show off this battle. Yeah, I only got one Pokemon. And it's a Weedle. Ooh, level 9. Shots. I'm gonna use Tail Whip. Oh, not Poison Sting. Thank God I wasn't poisoned. And he's Defense Spell. And I'm gonna use Bubble. 
Oh, I got poisoned. Yeah, I tell you how much I hate poison sand. And I defeated the freaking guy again. And I get 90, um, 90 gold. And now I have to... Heal myself a poison. Leaving Rodian Forest, Pewter City ahead. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, which I don't have yet. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Let's investigate this in house. Pokemon become easier to catch when they are hurt or asleep. But it's not a sure thing. Really? Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow. But some moves can be taught by the trainer. Yeah, if you pick up TM or HM items, which I will explain later in the game when we get them. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, one of the most famous Pokemon from the first gen. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snow. <laughs> and there we go. What are you gonna say? What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. Okay. That guy's kind of rude. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in a battle, however short, earns experience points. There aren't too many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers. But Peter Jim Block is totally into it. With that being said, I gotta go see if I can get some items. Stone Gray City. Notice. These seven stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Peter Police with any info. Sometimes when you talk to people in the shop, you can get stuff. Hi there. And that's it for now. <sighs> let's go to the Pokemon Center. If, okay, that's the first gym. Nidoran, sit. <coughs> Good Nidoran. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider po is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore unskilled trainers in battle. If only we had some badges. Yeah, the higher badges. The more badges you got, they listen to you pretty much. Museum of Science. Let's actually go see what this is all about. Oh, Dr. Fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. 
that's pretty much what I'm gonna do in this video, it's just explore. Kabuta. Also, a primitive and rare Pokemon. In the next part, part 4, I'm gonna be taking on the gym leader. But I'm gonna do some serious level grinding outside of Peter City. We have a space exhibit now. Really? I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Really? Yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. I wouldn't want to have a Pikachu myself. Oh, yeah, it's like not the best Pokemon ever, but it would be nice. Too. July 20th, 1969. The first lunar landing. I bought a color TV to watch it. Uh, Moonstone. What's so special about it? Moon landing, eh? Did we actually know if that actually happened? <laughs> yeah, it did. Oh, I assume. And this was Jim. I feel like I said I'm not worried about that one right now. And we don't have the TM item there. new challenges. Follow me. So yeah, he'll take you right to block. So you can't even go th that way until you beat block. And that's not block, Lesnar. Still have to take on block. Anyway, let's explore more of this town. Okay, I'm gonna go do some level grinding, and then maybe we'll take on Brock. Give me a few moments. Okay, well here at the gym, I'm go I said I was gonna do it in part 4, but actually, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna ignore this trainer, I don't wanna face him right now. I'm gonna go right to Brock. I'm Brock, pure gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Find it. Show me your best. The good thing is we have Brock's weakness. Squirtle. Water Pokemon. Now you see why I picked water Pokemon at the beginning. You don't always have to go that way. You can go the other challenging ways too, but I decided to go with Squirtle. It's super effective. He uses speed fell, he'll use defense cool. Hopefully, the bubble takes him out. It's super effective. Enemy Geodude fainted. So he uses Rock Pokemon Geodude. It's one of them. Squirtle gained 220 experience points. Uh, apparently, I was level 13. Rock is about to send out Onyx, which is another Rock Pokemon. It's like a Rock Snake Pokemon. Will I change Pokemon? I don't know why I said yes. I cancel it. Uh, Onyx used Tackle. Onyx will use our attack, or oh, he uses another attack to called uh, Bard or S and Screech. Screech is like a lower in your defense. Bard is like he hardens and he, you know, will eventually unleash a super attack. It's super effective. Enemy Onyx fainted. Squirtle gained 324 experience points. And I removed to level 14. Brag defeated Brock. So, a total pushover if you're put, uh, prepared and you're using something like Squirtle. I'll take you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the bowler badge. And I've received the bowler badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's build... It's build's Pokemon becomes more powerful. The technique Flash can be used anytime. And I got 1386 for winning, and we now have... Wait, take this with you. Brag received TM34. The TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. The TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon 
skillfully. Team of Thunders includes Bard, which is an attack that Onyx could use in that battle, but he did not use it. The Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. But, like I said, he never got a chance to use it, because I wiped his ass. Or well, whipped his ass, not wipe. I know I wipe his ass. Ugh, that'd be, ugh. That's a scary thought. Ugh. That just gave me shivers. Anyway, we defeated Block, so we got our first gym badge. So I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we are gonna continue on and collect more badges and more Pokemon. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of level grinding off camera for my Rattata and my Weedle. They might be level 4 or 5, they might be level 9 or 10, who knows? But I'm gonna do that while I prepare for the next part. So this is Everfan and F signing off. Goodbye everybody. See you all in part four.